So as you follow along to this routine, all our sticks that we use are color coded. And if you buy yours off of Amazon or Tamu or wherever you buy your tools, if you bought the same ones, they obviously don't come color coded. So I'm just gonna show you show you and explain which are which, just so that you know. So we don't use these first two because they're too big to use for anything. So you can just set those aside because in most of my videos, we don't use them. And so you're left with these. So in this order, you can look. And it basically goes in this order from biggest to smallest. Green, blue, white, yellow, pink, and black down to the smallest one. So for today's class, I'm going to be using this color palette. For paint color number one, I'm using Deco Art Americana Snow White. For paint color number two, I'm using Deco Art Americana Bright Blue. For paint color number three, I'm using Craft Smart Olive Green. For paint color number four, I'm using Craft Smart Red. For paint color five, I'm using Deco Art Americana Tuscan Red. And for paint color number six, I'm using the Craft Smart Multi Surface Radiant Gold. Okay, so now we're gonna start on the mushroom top. For the first step, we're gonna take the blue stick with paint color number three. And you should see like a little indent in your mushroom cap. That's where the center is. And you're just going to place this dot right above it or right on top of it. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly and we're gonna use the smaller end. And we're gonna use paint color number two. I'm sorry, paint color number one. So to make sure our design is symmetrical, I like to use a like a method or a technique. Basically, you're gonna place one dot anywhere around the middle dot. Then you're going to look right across from it and place another dot there. Whoa, what happened? And which number paint was this? Uh, one. Are you using the big side or the little? The small side. And then after you have these two dots, you're going to find the center of those and put it one to the side like this. And then you're gonna look right across from that one and put one there. So you get these four like north, south, west, east like guiding dots. Okay, once you have these four dots, we're going to go in between the gaps and just place one dot in each gap. So you should have eight dots all the way around. And then once you have these eight dots, we're going to go in between the gaps one more time. So you should have 16 dots all the way around. <laughs> okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly again with the bigger end and paint color two and we're going to place these dots 
in between but above so you don't want to put it completely above it like this but kind of oh my goodness so you don't want to put it completely above it like that but kind of in that little crease in between the two Yes, the bigger end. Okay, next step, we're going to take the white twirly, bigger end, with paint color four. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to place these dots in between but above. Sorry? Fourth. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink stick with paint color number six. And we're going to place these in between but above like we were doing, but you're going to skip a gap. So you should have eight of these all the way around. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly, the bigger end, with paint color one. And what we're going to do is you're going to place two dots side by side like that, and then one dot above it. So we get this like little pyramid above the dots we just did. Thank you. 
This is fun. I just can't think what she wants to paint. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly smaller end with paint color five. And we're going to start here underneath one of the sides of the pyramid, and you're going to drag around the dot. We got this guy. We got it. Just go slow. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly smaller end with paint color three. And we're going to start on one side of the top of our pyramid and drag around. Okay, next step, we're going to take the black stick with paint color two, and we're just going to put a dot in between our designs like that. The black? Yes, the black stick. Is the yes. Black one? Oh, that skinny one? Yes. Okay. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink stick with paint color four, and we're going to put these dots above the smaller ones we just did. Thank you. 
Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly with pink color one, and we're going to walk the dots. So we're going to use the bigger end first for this one dot here. Then you'll, the pink. Then you'll switch to the smaller end. And then you're going to dot around. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly again, and we're going to use paint color three, and we're going to walk the dots again. Bigger end of the pink twirly for the first dot, and then you'll switch to the smaller end and walk the dots. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly with pink color two, and we're going to walk the dots. Bigger end of the white twirly for the first dot, and then you'll switch to the smaller end to walk the dots. I'm sorry, which number please? Two.
Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly with paint color five, and we're going to walk the dots again. Bigger end for the first dot, but you're not going to switch to the smaller end. You're just gonna re-dip the bigger end and walk the dots with the bigger end. Yes. Okay, next step, we're going to take the white twirly bigger end with paint color 6. And you want to make sure you get a lot of paint on your tool. And we're going to start in between the first and the second dot of the walking the dots. And we're going to drag... Okay, next step, we're going to take the white twirly bigger end with paint color one. And you're going to place one dot here. Then you're going to place two dots to the side like this. And then one more dot 
above those two. So you get four dots in this like diamond shape. Okay, next step, we're going to need the black stick and the pink twirling. So first we're gonna use the black stick and we're going to use paint color four. And you're just going to put a dot in between like that. Then you're gonna take the pink twirling, bigger end, and you're basically going to walk the dots kind of along the drag upwards on both sides. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirling, paint color number two. So first we're going to use the bigger end, and you're going to start in the middle, and you're going to do one drag straight down like this. Then you're going to dip again and start just a tiny bit lower than it, and drag right next to it. Oh, wow. it's just on both sides <laughs> and then you're going to switch to the smaller end dip and and going to make one more on each side
Okay, next step, we're going to take the yellow stick with paint color five. And we're going to go back to that very center dot and we're just going to overlap it. Okay, so we are completely done with the lid of the mushroom. Now we're just going to do a little bit of a design on the stem of the mushroom. So we're basically just gonna do a couple rounds of dots like this. So you can pick any two or three or however many colors um, you want to use. And we're going to take the black stick and starting off with any one of your colors, you're just going to go around the bottom of the stem. So after you have your first round, the way you're going to do your second round is how we did in the beginning of our lid. You're not gonna place it right above, but you're going to place kind of in that gap and just go around. Same tool, same block. Yes, yes. Once you guys are done with your mushroom stems, you can let my mom know and she will come and glue your top to your step. And then you have a beautiful mushroom to take home. Thank you. Thank you. This was nice a lot job. of fun. So after you have your first round, the way you place kind of in that gap. And just go around. Same tool, same flat. Yes. Back. 